war never changes. But the weapons do. Some weapons prove to be so brutal, cruel, and inhumane that they become banned from warfare. These bans are often treaties and agreements between nations not to use certain weapons against each other. Today, we'll be talking about weapons banned by certain nations and bound by treaties, conventions, and protocols. It's important to realize that these agreements are not entirely universal. Countries, military forces, ideologies, and beyond often do not follow these rules. Number 9. Poisonous Gases. There are five types of chemical agents banned for use in warfare. Blood agents are toxic and fast-acting. They can be inhaled or absorbed through the skin. Victims slowly lose control of their bodily functions, their limbs start jerking involuntarily, and death comes from respiratory failure. Number 8. Non-Detectable Fragments. The Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons bans the use of non-metallic fragments in war because they can't be found by using X-rays. The fragments are said to cause unnecessary suffering. Surgeons have to go through the body by hand looking for these fragments. Undetectable fragments like plastic and glass can kill just as quickly as metal frag but are much harder to detect with modern tools. Number 7. Landmines and Booby Trap. The failure of a total ban on anti-personnel mines in the 1979 Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons led to the Ottawa Treaty, which. This treaty doesn't cover anti-tank mines, booby traps, and remote mines. Previous treaties have demanded that anti-personnel mines be able to be remotely deactivated, shut down after a certain time period, or to be removed by the implementing party once the conflict ends. Number 6. Incendiary Weapons. The use of weapons designed just to burn or set fire to large areas which may be full of civilians is also prohibited. Napalm is that the substance itself isn't banned as a weapon, but using it on anything other than a concentrated area where the enemy is using foliage as concealment is banned. Number 5. Blinding Laser Weapons. This covers any laser designed to cause permanent blindness, but it does say that if the laser in question just happens to cause blindness, you can't be held responsible for that. The Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons bans laser weapons purposefully designed to blind the enemy. Suppose a laser is designed not to blind the enemy but has the aftereffect of doing so. Well, in that situation, the laser is not prohibited. Number 4. Expanding Ordnance. Technically, this covers bullets which expand or flatten easily in the human body, which were developed by the British in India at the time of the Hague Convention in 1899. They reasoned that if weapons were deadlier, there would be less suffering. Since exploding bullets under 400 grams would only kill one man and ordinary bullets would do, why create exploding ones? Today, this prohibition covers hollow point bullets, which are designed to remain in the body and limit collateral damage. Number 3. Poisoned Bullets. The rules banning poisoned bullets are one of the first examples of an agreement between militaries and governments regarding warfare. The Strasbourg Agreement of 1675 between Rome and France prohibited using poison bullets. The United States Army experimented with ricin-coated bullets and artillery weapons in World War I. The exploding rounds would create dust clouds over the enemy's positions. Number 2. Cluster Bombs. A cluster bomb releases a number of projectiles on impact to injure or damage personnel and vehicles. The 2008 Convention on Cluster Munitions banned these for two reasons. First, they have wide area effects and are unable to distinguish between civilians and combatants. Second, cluster munitions leave behind large numbers of dangerous unexploded ordnance. They would cause a brutal and violent effect on the area around them. These bombs open up in the air and saturate an area with explosives. Number 1. Biological Weapons. Biological weapons have been in use for hundreds of years. The Mongolians would launch rotting bodies into cities under siege to spread disease. In medieval times, dead animals would be thrown into towns and forts, and Europeans spread smallpox through native populations in North America. Biological weapons are some of the oldest weapons of mass destruction known to have been used by man. The 1972 Biological Weapons Convention was the first treaty to completely ban a whole class of weapons. It prohibits the development, production, and stockpiling of biological and toxin weapons, though has no governing body to enforce compliance. If you like this kind of content please like, share, and subscribe.